everybody, my name is Jonathan and welcome to Barely Unboxed. Today we have a Monster High video and I'm so excited because I haven't had a Monster High video in a while and these ghouls have been waiting to be unboxed and they are all BFFs so I thought it would be cool to unbox all three of these at the same time. So we have a Frankie Stein iridescent. I did get this on clearance uh, at Fred Meyer, which was only $20, and I think that's pretty much normal price, because uh, they were selling it for $50 before clearance, because they have crazy prices. So... <laughs> Uh, we have seen some of the other ones in this line. I did a video on uh, Claudine, and I also unboxed her. Um, I don't have Cleo or Dracula from this Fearidescent, but I love the Fearidescent uh, Skultimate Secrets line. Now, uh, Skultimate Secrets keeps coming out with different lines. The current one... Um, glows in the dark and I have one of those that I would like to unbox in a future video so look for that in probably a few weeks but today we have also we have uh, the day out Cleo denial is what these are called and uh, I got this at Ross as you can see, for only $11.99. So, I mean, that is a lovely price for this doll. I believe that this is the Saran Hair uh, version of Cleo. And here's the back. It doesn't have the artwork on the back, which kind of bums me out. Uh, it does have it here on the front, though, and it's beautiful. I love this artwork. I think it's made by Dark of Dark, I believe, is who does all the artwork for these. Uh, and these don't come with a pet. They, uh, they're kind of like a budget doll, but they do come with a lot of accessories. Uh, and then I have the Target exclusive uh, Gulia Yelps. And she does come with her pet, which is Sir Hoots a lot. And here is the back with all the lovely artwork. And so these ghouls are all BFFs within the Monster High series. So we're going to start with Frankie Stein uh, because it has a lot of water reveal stuff. And a lot of people don't do the water reveal when they do an unboxing. But... Uh, I'm going to do it because I like that part. <laughs> I should probably show you the barcode if you would like to look for this one. Now this is a older series, previous series in the current one. So uh, it might be hard to find, but you could probably find it on Amazon. I haven't checked uh, Amazon for it yet, but I will. And if it's on there, I will put a link to it. So, and these are like a plastic uh, locker, and it even has holes in the back, so you can hang it on the wall if you want. Now, the doll is going to be in here, which if you've seen my previous videos, you would probably know that. And there she is, or I'm sorry, there they are. I... I keep forgetting that pronouns for Frankie are different in this new generation, and I definitely want to honor that. Um, wow, they are absolutely adorable. I think this might be my favorite Frankie as far as like the face goes. Oh, wow, yeah. I love the glitter on the lips. Okay, so... The way these dolls work is they have a key right here, and you put that in the water, and it reveals a color that matches 
the door and then you open it. Let me get Frankie out of here. And if you've seen other videos of me trying to get the doll out, you might know that this is, <laughs> this sometimes takes a little effort. We got Frankie out of there. I just had to snip all the plastic fasteners and, and then I just pulled Frankie right out. So first impressions are I really do like uh, this doll overall. The leg is normally it's like a metal looking leg that looks a lot like this silver on the bottom of the boots. But they did it in like this translucent glittery material. But it still has like all the metal like rivets and stuff on it. It's very cool. I mean, I love it. All right, and then we got the key. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll start the process. Drop the key in there. And there is just hair shedding everywhere. It always happens. This is polypropylene hair. I mean, you can tell right away the way it feels, um, which is kind of disappointing, but it's, it's kind of what we expect when it comes to uh, Frankie's hair, at least. But it is blue underneath, which is really cool. And I like the bangs a lot. I just, I really like the way they did the hair. I just wish that it wasn't polypropylene, but you can wash it uh, and condition it and it would probably look a lot better, but we're not going to do that today because uh, there's no gel in it like a lot of Rainbow High dolls at least have. Um, so we're just going to go with what we have. Now, these dolls, sometimes you can get them to stand. Um, Frankie is holding on to the <laughs> locker, though, I think, to stand. So we got a, a blue key, and we're dripping water everywhere. So we'll try that off. Now, the water is like a little bit iridescent because of the silver paint that was on that, which is really cool. Now, I will show you this guide real quick. Uh, this just talks about how, how to do all the steps. And it even shows you a breakdown of what's in each uh, package that you find in the locker. But we want to be more surprised, so let's put Frankie over here. Okay, now let's see. Oh, and there is just hair everywhere. But the inside of the locker is really cool. Look at that. And then the door. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of, like, neat things in here like an extra hand <laughs> and uh, different colored uh, press on nails and hair color and earrings and all kinds of stuff it's really cool again. so this key and hopefully they got it right because I think it was Laguna that we did and all of the stuff was wrong like in every key everything was was in the wrong spot. So you open that up and you get the little package and it does have uh, Frankie's symbol on it, which is really cool. And these are just paper, so you can rip them. All right. So we got a skirt and that is actually a really cool skirt. It's like plaid. It has like a faux zipper with the Monster High logo. Very cool. And we got a like stall. I think it's a stole is what you call that. It's very cool. And all the Fearless dolls do come with that. And we got a different top. 
which is very like pleathery and has a lightning bolts on it. It's kind of cool. And we got another key. So let's drop this key in the water and see what color that is. All right, now while the key is doing that, let it, let's try these new uh, outfits. Now the, the clothes on these all just Velcro and they do have removable hands, I believe. Yes, because it's pretty much the only way um, that you can get the clothes off. And when you pull those off, make sure you pull at the base and hold on to the, um, the peg part because it's very easy to break those. If you if you pull it too hard all right I love Frankie Frankie has really cool um, like stitch detail now this skirt does not velcro I guess okay that's weird it just pulls off we'll take the boots off to make this easier and then you can actually get a better look at the glitter leg. <laughs> it's really cool. All right. I have a feeling I'm gonna like the new skirt better than this one. This one is really hard to get off, jeez. What is going on? I don't, I don't like it when they don't have Velcro. That makes it so much harder. See, this one has Velcro on it. So that is a lot easier to get on. Okay. I do like the way that skirt looks. Now let's get this top on, which also does have Velcro. All right, I think I like the shirt better that Frankie was wearing uh, right out of the box or right out of the locker. <laughs> so we might put that back on later, but uh, there is what that outfit looks like. And let me give you a close-up of Frankie's face. Because uh, Frankie does have the two different colored eyes, which is really cool. And I really like the glitter lips on this one. Oh, and we have the stall. Stole, I don't know how what you call this. Like a, we'll call it a shawl. All right, so there we are with, with that. It's very nice. And let's see, we got, oh, there's still some paint residue on that. Sometimes it, if your water is too cold, which mine was hot, but it, now it's, it's a little not hot enough. So all the keys actually work in the same um, doors which is kind of annoying because you can really just cheat and open them all up. <laughs> but uh, I like to play the game that they want you to do it. All right, so let's see what we get in here. Ooh, some really cool stuff in here. Earrings and a headband. All right, so there's a necklace. Cool. Let's put that on. I like that. that necklace. All right, and then we have earrings, which are, what do they say? Zip and zap. That's pretty cool. So I'm guessing this one probably goes in this ear. That 
that way you can read it. Yep. Oh, I lost her shawl. All right, so there's the earrings. They kind of stick out far. Maybe we can. I guess that's just how they look. Um, and then this really cool uh, headpiece. That's pretty awesome. I like that. All right. Oh. All right. So I really like the icy blue of this one. It's, it's really cool there. Okay. And we got another key. Uh, usually the last key you find is this glittery door one. That's what I've noticed with the other two that I have done. And I, ooh, this water is so pretty now. Look at that. It's very iridescent and shiny. I love that. Because this is the same, like, Barbie color reveal technology, if you want to call it that. They're using the same thing for the Monster High, because it is Mattel that makes both. So... We got this baby blue key. So I think this might have shooting, uh, new shoes, another pair of shoes, I hope. Let's see. Yep, there's some boots in here. And the last key. Oh, these boots are cool. They're like glittery black and they're actually sort of translucent it might be hard to tell um, now i think with these boots on uh, they're going to be able to stand up pretty well maybe i hope maybe not hmm All right, well, there's the boots. Very cool. And we got a key ring. Let's put, to put all the keys on. Now let's open this last one. I wonder what will be in the last one. And we'll go ahead and put all these keys on here. Uh, some of them still have a little bit of paint residue, but that's okay. And then there is your key ring with all the keys, which is pretty cool. All right. Last one. What do we got in here? Oh, wow. Lots of accessories. So we have like a little compact. Okay, it's like an eyeshadow. It's pretty cool. We got a a bag with like zippers on it, and this also opens up. So we can put the eyeshadow in the bag, uh, and then we got a brush for the eyeshadow, and Frankie can actually hold that. And the best thing I think we got is this little coffin-shaped Frankenstein popsicle. <laughs> All right, let's put that in Frankie's hand, maybe. Hmm. Try this one. All right, there we go. 
Frankie can definitely hold that. And then the bag. So there's that. And then I can put the brush in the bag would probably be the best spot for that. So what do we think? What do we think of this outfit? I don't know. I think I like the original boots a lot better. Yeah, I think I do. Now, the articulation for this doll, which I did not show, so let's go ahead and take a look at that right now, is it has knee articulation, it has a leg articulation. Oh, and I can't get very, <laughs> the articulation is making the skirt come off. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Let's get your skirt back on. All right. And then elbow articulation, obviously hand, because those do come out. The shoulder, the head can go around. And it has uh, chest articulation on the stall. So definitely love the articulation. That's one thing about Monster High dolls that I really appreciate is the articulation because let's be honest, that's I think what we all love about a, a doll is for it to be able to pose the way we want it to, especially if we take doll photography. All right, so let's go ahead and close the locker up. And we'll pose Frankie right there in front of it. Now, you can keep all these accessories inside the doors on the locker and then you can keep the keys in the big door and that way you can open them whenever you want to get in there all right now the one thing about monster high dolls that's kind of a bummer is they don't come with doll stands um but a lot of the dolls do stand on their own I shouldn't say a lot but some of them so we are all done with the water, so we can put that away. And I think next we will take a look at Cleo. I was very excited to find this for only $11.99 at Ross. Uh, they do have some of the other characters at Ross, which are shown on the back here. Um, I have this Frankie, but I have yet to open it. Uh, and I, I don't have the um, Draculaura or the Claudine. Uh, but I did want this because I believe the hair. And there's the barcode. I believe the hair on this is Saran. So let's go ahead and open this. And I will show you the side of the plastic now that it's open. It has some really cool symbols for all the characters. And it does say Monster High on the side, which is really cool. Now, I would love to be able to keep this artwork, but it's glued in with like tape and it rips it whenever you try to remove it. So, won't be keeping that. All right, now let's get her out of here. All right, she is out of her packaging. And let me feel this hair. Oh yeah, this is definitely Saran. It is soft. Oh, it feels really nice. Now she does have a few broken flyaway hairs, but look at the face on her. She's absolutely gorgeous. The screening on this one is really nice. I uh, was able to pick from a couple different ones. So this is the one I chose. She does have some tinsel in her hair, but I'm not mad about that. I think it looks great. Uh, she has this 
plastic rubbery belt that you can actually remove and then like fan earrings which is really cool and this peacock feather uh, headdress that is really really nicely done and I really like the outfit where this sort of looks like mummy wrappings and the print is all the way around on the back too which is also really nice to see and then she has these really cool like kind of sandal boots and she has the really cool molded uh, leg and on her arm she has like mummy wrappings it's really cool love that about her and she has a necklace as well so I really like this doll this this is probably going to replace my um, core doll that I have of her because that one has polypropylene hair and this one oh she can even like pose with her hand on her hip <laughs> Very cool. Now let's look at her accessories. She has this really cool scarab bag. It's only painted on the one side, but that's okay. And it does open. So you can carry her accessories inside. She also comes with some mummy snacks. And a lot of these foods mimic actual foods, so it's kind of cool. Now this little wrap thing she has is really, really cool. Look at the detail on the wrapper on it. And it has like little ears, like a jackal. And she can't hold the these very well because it doesn't have a, a, whole, a hand like a finger hold but that one she can definitely hold very cool and then she can she can uh, put the snacks maybe in her purse let's find out no nope, they don't fit that's kind of disappointing i think the wrap would fit but that just seems silly especially since she can hold that so, and there we have it. Beautiful, beautiful Cleo. Now, I don't know if she can stand. Let's find out. Now, the budget dolls do not have the chest joint. So that's kind of disappointing. But if you really wanted to, you could swap her head <laughs> with her core doll, which does have the uh, chest articulation. And then that way you could uh, have the best of both worlds. Full articulation and the uh, saran hair. All right, so these two are besties. Let's put them next to each other very cute now Gulia is also one of Cleo's besties and I was a little hesitant to get this doll um, I don't particularly like her outfit I will I will admit the owl is adorable the skateboard is really cool she comes with like a handheld gaming system and a hat and the hat is actual fabric um, her whole thing is that she's like a zombie and here is her uh, barcode so Gulia is available only at Target and they still have her at most of the targets that I've seen and then you had Deuce Corrigan was only available from Amazon so you had to order him from Amazon and then Torilai is a Walmart exclusive doll, which I have her 
And I got her for a whopping $9. So check your Walmart. They have lots of clearance right now. Both Rainbow High and Monster High clearance. Like, crazy. So, I am going to keep this artwork. Because I really like keeping the little artwork pieces. I think they're really cute. All right, so let's get her out of here and we'll take a look at her. All right, so we got Gulia out of her packaging and her hair is actually pretty soft. I I can't tell, but I, I feel like it might actually be Saran. Um, sometimes I have a hard time telling. I mean, it. yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so... She had a lot of uh, stuff going on. She had some plastic under her glasses uh, to prevent them from, like, scratching her face. So I had to pull out the, uh, or cut out, I should say, the plastic fasteners. But, you know, now that she's out of the packaging, I think she's really, really cute. I even really like this jacket now that I'm looking at it. It's supposed to look like brain matter. <laughs> and then her skirt kind of looks like slime. And it has that same zipper that is like on um, on uh, Frankie's skirt, which is kind of interesting. And she has a uh, gravestone earrings. And you can take her glasses off. She has a really pretty face. You know, for a zombie, I am impressed. <laughs> and because she's one of the core dolls, she does have the chest joint. And then she has all the other same articulation as Frankie does. And then there's her really cool boots. I really like these boots. Again, the soles on these are supposed to look like, I think, brain matter. Gray, is it gray matter? I think is what you call that. And then, um, yeah. And she has a shirt with a rainbow brain on it. It's very cool. All right, so she does come with a backpack that does open, so you can put stuff inside of it. And it's very rubbery, so you should be able to get that on uh, her back pretty easily, especially with her arms being so puzzled. And it also is supposed to look like a brain. And then here's her uh, skateboard. It says Monster High on it. And then it has this, uh, I think that's actually the superhero that Gulia becomes. And the wheels, they, they do have... Um, some elastic on them, which you can take off. But the wheels actually move on this skateboard. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. They're not very free moving, but they do move. <laughs> they don't spin around, which I thought maybe they would since they had these uh, rubber bands on it. But it, it doesn't really want to roll on my desk. But it, they do roll, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and then she has the hat, which we will try on here in a second. And she also comes with, I think that's, what does that say? Brain puffs. <laughs> it looks like they're spicy cheese flavored. And then she has her eye coffin with some icons on it. And it looks like a brain. And then she has her Monster High, this is on the back, gaming system. It looks like she's playing some sort of game. Let me see. Yeah, I don't know what the game is. It has like little people standing there. It's very cool. And then, last but definitely not least, we have Sir Hoots a lot. And the glasses are removable, so that's cool. 
head does not move or anything. It does have little perchable feet, which I'm not really sure what you would perch Sir Hoots a lot on. All right, now here's the hat. It has a brain on it. So let's try getting the hat on her head. And there she is wearing her hat. Very cute. I, I really do like that. Now maybe she could have the owl on her arm. Maybe that's... I don't know. I feel like the owl, it has like a perch for some reason. There we go. That's awesome. She can hold her little owl on her arm. That's pretty cool. And then of course she can hold her eye coffin. In her hand. Very cool. I love when they give you these like accessories that you can actually get them to hold. Her glasses are a little crooked. But yeah, that's really cool. And then you can get her to skateboard. Maybe even get her to stand on it. There we go. We got her to stand on the skateboard. Very cool. All right. Now let's take a look at all three of them. There we go. BFFs. And I think Cleo and Frankie are kind of an item. Uh, I haven't seen all the episodes, so I've just... That's, I'm just going off of what I've read. But uh, let me know if you have any of these down in the comments. I'd love to hear which one you love also. I think my favorite one is Cleo. I mean, she's just absolutely gorgeous. And, you know, I never thought I would be that into Cleo. But more and more, I really love Cleo. And, of course, Frankie. You gotta love Frankie. I love Frankie in the cartoon, in G3 especially, so, and, you know, I don't know much about Lulia, but, uh, after opening her doll, I'm definitely a fan now, which at first I wasn't, so I'm really glad that I picked this up. I actually got this, oh, she's losing some hair, <laughs> that, here. Cut that. Sometimes you need to trim the hair on your dolls if it's uneven. Her hair is very uneven in the back, but I feel like if I washed this, I could give it a nice little trim to make it a little more even. But who knows? Maybe it's supposed to be uneven. Maybe that's part of her character. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. I really enjoy all the comments that you guys leave out there. If you know someone who might like this video, please share it with them as well. And if you're not a subscriber yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell button for notifications every time I put a video up. And uh, we'll see you next time. I love you guys. Bye.